Good morning, you pricks. Get out of bed. Faster, you lazy bum. Alright, what were we doing? Right, we have to get into warehouse number 8 in the old warehouse district. Before we do that, better train some more. You gotta get better at karate. Can't avenge anyone's death if you don't know karate. Whoa. Look at the time. Let's continue next time. Thanks very much. So it's a nice snowy day today. Um, before we head over to the harbor, we have to pay a visit to Shen Miao, of course. Hiya. Oh, no. What you up to? Guess what? Kitty got better. Yeah, her legs healed. Really? Yeah, come see. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here, come here. See? Wow. It seems you both took good care of her. Yep. <laughs> hey! Yasuo! Kayoko! Tetsuo! Kaneda! Go. See ya. Bye bye. Yasuo, wait for me. Well, ain't that adorable. All Shen Miao has gotten better. Now she'll actually stay outside of her box. The box is still there, but she'll just sort of stand here. How's it going, kitty? Aww. You're so kawaii. Uh, doesn't that feel good? Mimi, you okay? <laughs> I bet you remember me, don't you? Okay, well, let's feed her some stuff. What have we got? Uh, milk. That'll do. Here's your milk. Drink up. Seems you were hungry, huh? Well, keep on trucking, Shen Miao. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, though, I decided to get some stupid toys. Oh. And it's about this time I think maybe I should move away from the Sonic machine. I think well, I've got most of the characters. I don't have all of them, but I'm probably going to get a lot of repeats now since I probably have a majority of the Sonic characters from it. Before we head to the harbor, might as well spend some time practicing our karate, building up our skill level, and then we'll just wait for the bus. Now remember, we can't go into the old warehouse district until 7 o'clock, or night time. So we still have a good few hours to kill once we arrive in the harbour. It's okay though, because there are things we can do at the harbour to pass some time. And uh, there's actually an event here which I missed the first time round. It's an optional event, and it occurs about this time while you're looking for the old warehouse district, and if you actually go to warehouse number 8 too early, you can miss it, so yeah. Big sis. Hi, Mai. What is it? Let me some money. No way. Why not? Come on, lend me some. I said no. I know you'd only waste it. Prude! See if I ask you any more. Mai? That's the worst robbery I've ever seen. She's terrible at this. <sighs> He's like a son. Hi, Dio. What's wrong? Mai's hanging with a bad crowd and treating our family bad. She wasn't like that before. Really? No, could you talk to her? She won't listen to me at all. Me? Yes, considering you've known her since she was young. Please, talk to her. I'll try. Really? It'd help me out. Okay. She's somewhere in the harbor, behind the warehouses. I'll go check. Okay, so now we have to find Mai. He went off in this somewhat vague direction, so we have to actually try and find her. And this guy just walks right up to my face. Um, sorry. I don't have the time. I can't help you. I see. 
Well, it's okay. Most of these sailors don't really have anything interesting to say, so we'll just completely ignore most of them. Oh, we haven't had a drink in a while. Let's get ourselves a nice warm cup of coffee, because... or can of coffee, rather. It's snowing and it's cold and stuff. Canned coffee seems quite popular in Japan. It's not something I see so much around here. I remember last time I was in Hong Kong, I bought some canned coffee with uh, Evangelion promotions on. Oh, hey! Great, I won! Awesome. Anyway, yeah, um. There are cans of coffee with, like, Evangelion stuff on them. So they're, like, pictures of the Evangelion girls and stuff. I might actually have a can or two lying around, I don't know. It's probably out of date now. But anyway, it was used to promote, I think, the new remake that's going on at the moment. I don't know if it's still going on. I haven't really kept up with anime in a while, but... Ah, good. Yeah, the, the first one, you cannot... You are not alone, I think, the first one. Biggest waste of my money. I actually bought a DVD of that, and it was dumb because it was the first five episodes of the series, but made into a movie. And it's like, well, what's the point of making a movie of a series that I've already seen? I keep telling you, stay out of here. How'd that bum get in here anyway? No idea. Jesus Christ, can you be any slower? Hurry up! Are you alright? Young man, sure's a cold day, eh? Don't suppose you'd buy an old man a can of coffee, eh? But yeah, I thought the Evangelion rebuild was a new story and everything, but no, the first movie I saw was the exact same story as the series, and it's like, what's the point? I mean, I guess the story changes as it goes on. I mean, I looked up and there was there's a new girl, isn't there? The one in the pink plug suit with glasses. What's her name? Marie or something? No, wait, that's Persona 4 with the new girl. Anyway, my point is that there's no I'll point in getting the first movie because it's exactly the same as the series, and I feel cheated. Here. So warm. <laughs> Much obliged, young man. Mister, where do you live? In this here harbor. Long about three years, I reckon. Really? Well, take care of yourself. We met a homeless man. M made friends with an old homeless man? What? That doesn't make s Did I really make friends with him? Anyway, we still have to find Mai, so let's continue onwards. I, I have to stress that, you know, I've never really been like the hippest kid in town or anything like that, but is the harbour really a cool place for schoolgirls to hang out? Was this a thing in the 80s that I missed? Oh well. Mai. What are you doing? Mai, your sister's worried about you. Let's go home. Who the hell is this? No, ladies, don't do this, please. Screw off, asshole! You don't know what you're getting yourselves into. Kiss off. You don't want to make Ryo Hazuki angry. Not so bright are you? Bastard! I'm gonna kick your ass! Oh, the humanity! Let me go! You shouldn't play with stuff like this. I tried to warn them, but now they're both dead. What are you doing? I'm not going to preach to you, Mai. But you shouldn't treat your sister that way. Not family. No, excuse me? Yo. Yeah, that's pretty much my reaction. Not family. What does he... Not family. 
I don't get it. What does that mean? Okay, well, um... <laughs> apparently we fixed the problem, I think. So let's go back to Hisaka. How did it go, Dio? Not sure, but it's her decision. And if she makes the wrong decision, I'll just beat her up as well. What is it? Do you know the old warehouse district? Yes, I do. Oh, it's a bit far. It's just up the street. I have to go make a delivery there now. Really? Yes, to the security office there. The security office? Hisakasa, I could make the delivery for you. Oh, really? That'd be a great help. They've already paid. All right. But... What? There are only 10 security guards, but they always order 12 meals. I wonder why. Two extra meals? Well, here it is, Ryo. It's not that unusual, is it? I mean, someone just could be really, really hungry all the time, right? Excuse me, Hoko Oko lunches? Huh, you! I have a delivery, 12 lunches? Oh uh, yeah, just put them there. Okay. You're on duty in the new warehouse district from 8 p.m. too? Yeah. Man, guess we'll be short-handed here again. As if the night shift isn't busy enough. Hey! You're still here? If you're done, go on, get out! Yes. Between 8 and 9 p.m. That's my chance. Isaka-san, I'm done. Have any trouble finding it? Not really. You've been a big help. Thank you, yo. Anytime. Alright, so the game stresses that you can do it from 8 o'clock onwards. You can actually do it from 7 o'clock, so it's not that much of a wait. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Uh, I guess we just had to kill some time until 7 o'clock in the evening. Let's explore the harbour a bit. Um, there's a tomato convenience store here, which is handy. Um, they sell some more or less the same stuff as the tomato convenience store in Dubuita. Aside from a few exceptions, I guess. The raffle thing is the exact same thing as well. They have the same prizes here as they do in Dubuita, so... No, 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 nothing like remarkable about this store, I suppose, aside from, you know... Oh, they have different cassette tapes, I guess, but... Um... I don't really feel like buying any of them. Potato chips, sliced fish, milk... Uh, oh hey, dried fish. That's different. Maybe Shen Miao would like some dried fish. A little change in her diet, maybe. I'll take this, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Come again. And of course, we can't forget about the winning can we found. Let's cash it in and hope we get yeah, something cool. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. I'll take this, please. Sure. Draw a raffle ticket. All right. Here we go. Exciting raffle action. No win. What? That's too bad. <sighs> What's the point? Alright, let's see what else this place has. Um, capsule machines. A couple of new ones. Harbour stuff and generic car stuff. And also the Sega machine. Let's get some vehicles. I love these. I should buy one. What's this? Hey, it's the Stig, except he's yellow and on a motorcycle and also really fat. Maybe I should get another. Nah, not today. 
I don't want to go too crazy on the toy capsules now that I actually am running low on money. Hmm. Oh, there's another darts game here. Darts. One game, 100 yen. Too bad darts are shit! Don't think I should. Alright, let's see what else there is. Not really anything else. Um, over here there's a kettle that's just boiling. I'm pretty sure that's dangerous, just leaving a kettle that's boiling the whole time. Ah well, who cares. Not my problem. That's everything here. Let's move outside. Also in the harbour, there's a cafeteria. Let's check it out. Well, we're in the cafeteria. Nice little place, I guess. Uh, not really a whole lot in here, I suppose. I mean... Yeah. And there's a menu here. That's about it, though. Again, it's a shame that you can't eat. Like, you can't order food in this game. I would have added a little bit to the immersion. Excuse me. Yes! What is it? Do you know the old warehouse district well? Some people come to eat from there. But they only talk about women here. Oh, really? I once took over something someone left behind. They would not let me in. I see. Um, excuse me. What? You know, it's really not a good time to talk now. What's with you? You lost or something? No. I'm sorry, but I haven't got time now. Try again later. Okay. They're clearly not busy. It's saying they're busy, but they're not. Oh, hey, it's the homeless man. Let's see what he has to say. Excuse me? Eh? What is it, youngin? I'd like to ask you about the old warehouse district. Hmm. There ain't much I don't know. Is there only one entrance? That's right. And it won't do you any good to try to get in that way. Security's tight as a bug there. Is that so? Well, all we can do now is wait until 7 o'clock. Um, so I decided to pass the time jamming with Tom. Yep. Just jamming. Jamming with Tom for two hours. And we continue to jam into the night. Okay, so another thing that happens at 7 o'clock, Tom disappears, vanishes, literally before your eyes. That's because he goes back to Dubuita and hangs out over there at night, where his hot dog stand is. So, now that it's 7, we can try and sneak into the old warehouse district. Alright, time for Ryo Hazuki, Master of Stealth, to work his magic. <laughs> oh! Uh, hello! What? Uh, whoops. Huh? What's that noise? Just the wind? Alright, so every time you fail that quick time event, the game automatically advances 24 hours, and you get to try it again. So, the exact same thing happens. And you can keep doing this. And this is basically the best way of advancing time. If you want to skip time to see certain events, this is the best way of doing it because there's no time skip option. And... Well, yeah, I don't know, it seems pretty dumb, but hey, whatever works. So, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show off what Christmas looks like in Dubuita, so... I just want to make it go closer towards the Christmas season. This time, let's do it properly. Uh, hello! Oh. Whew, that was close. Okay, now's my chance. Huh? There's some writing. Warehouse number six. No, not here.
Security guards. I can't let them catch me. All right, time for some Metal Gear Solid action. We have to make it to warehouse number eight without being spotted. Just have to wait for the right time. Eventually. There's a lot of waiting around and stealthing, but I'm used to waiting. This is Shenmue after all. Okay, where are we going? I'm trying to find number eight. You can hide around corners by pressing the A button on the corners. Oh, this this is a dead end. Oh well, let's continue. Uh oh. Wait, no, there's a god. Gotta go back. Oh, have I just trapped myself? I've, I've trapped myself in a corner, haven't I? Yep, he's coming. Uh, what do I do? Um, uh, uh, press A by hiding near objects. Help, I'm pressing A. I'm not hiding. Uh, um, Ryo Hazuki, master of stealth, will not let this deter him. Uh, shit, what do I do? Uh oh. Um, shit, 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 shit. Who's that? No, why? What are you doing here? Stop trying to sneak in. It's no good. I'll try again tomorrow. Well, if you fail that stealth section, you again advance another 24 hours and you have to stealth again. So let's try that again. We don't have to do the whole torch thing. You need to do the quick time event. Warehouse number 8 isn't actually too far, it's just you have to know where it is. And once you find it, then it's not a big deal. Yes, this is warehouse number 8. Alright, finally, we're home free. Hold it right Motherfucker! There. The camera doesn't help hey, either, it's not really the best thing here? for stealthing. Don't hang out here. It's no good. I'll try again tomorrow. Okay, the next day, Christmas Eve. If I mess this up, I'll overshoot Christmas, which will be very annoying, because that's kind of what I was trying to get. Alright. This time, we can't mess it up. Otherwise, we'll miss Christmas. Christmas will be cancelled. We can't have that. Alright. It's not too far. Warehouse number 9, and next to it, warehouse number 8. Not this way. That's, that's the dead one I trapped myself in before. Uh, warehouse number 8. But there's a guard coming to my right, so I'm going to go the long way around. This is the, yeah, going up against corners like that is the best way of looking around the corners without exposing yourself. You can also listen to the guards' footsteps. They're really loud footsteps, so they help you locate the guards. Okay, we're done. Metal Gear Shenmue is finished. Now we're in warehouse number eight. Not a whole lot here. Let's, let's have a look for some clues. It's quite heavy. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff here. What a pretty vase. I wonder what it's used for. Lots of pots in here. Hmm. Well, this looks expensive. Ah. Uh. Who's there? Oh shit! I I messed up. I I clearly don't have enough yen to pay for that. Uh. Look, I I'm sorry. I can't pay for it. Not on my allowance, anyway. Please, no, I have a kitten to feed. Mm. 
Wait, Weizang. What? Master Chen. Master Chen? You are the young man who has called? Yes, we are Hazuki. This says, if you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. May I look at the letter? Sure. Yes, this is Zhu's handwriting. But it appears this letter arrived too late. Yes. This is Zhu Yongda. How does he know my father? Zhu and your father brought back a certain mirror from China. The mirror? The one that man stole? It was stolen? Yes. The man who killed my father, Lan Di. Lan Di? Do you know him? Well, I know of him. An organization called Qi Yo Min. Its leader goes by that name. I hear he's a master of a deadly martial art. Yes, he used a style I've never seen. I think we mean the same person. What does this mean? Please tell me why my father... You needn't tell this boy anything, father. Father? No, I'm bound by my promise to Zhu Yuan Da regarding this boy's father. But... but... Was only one mirror stolen? Huh? I'm asking if only one mirror was stolen. Yes, made of stone, a dragon design. If so, then there's one more. I believe the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix? A mythical bird of Chinese legend that guards human life. That mirror? My house? Perhaps. Find it, and then we'll talk. Yes. When I do, I'll return. From now on, telephone beforehand. And remember the password. And so we've learned that there's another mirror. And now it's our job to find it. We'll do that tomorrow though. Good night everyone.